Hey everyone, this is Lola Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today we're back here in the Sound Design channel. Today we're creating this lead called Analog Harsh that you can listen over here how it sounds like. And you can check the MIDI also of it. But if you want to listen to it in context, This preset is from the Modern Melodic Techno Pack that you can find over here in the description below. But enough of the talking and let's get started with this tutorial. So for this, we're just going to use a serum. We're going to deactivate the sidechain and the low cut. And this is how it sounds like completely raw. This is how it sounds with the initial preset, but we're going to start developing this preset right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is choose over here an analog DS saw and try. And we're gonna put the unison all the way up and this is going to make the sound a bit more stereo but we're gonna lower this detune a little bit so it feels less detuned and also we're gonna push up the bend a little bit down as well and to make this sound wobble a little bit we're gonna choose over here a sync and we're gonna use this LFO over here to modulate the sync and this is gonna go somewhere around this But what are we doing over here with this LFO one? So LFO one, we're gonna not use a BPM synced LFO. And essentially this is going to be something like this. And you can see it creates a lot of phasing in the sound, but it's really cool and it's really nice to create that analog kind of feeling to it. Another really common thing to create an analog feeling is to put this LFO also over here in the fine. And this is going to create this kind of wobbly sound in the tuning but we're gonna lower this a lot. And it's a pretty crazy sound. Now in the oscillator B, we're gonna choose over here a saw from the basic shapes. And this is also going to go with the unison wide up and the detune a bit down as well. But the blend over here is gonna go quite down. And the craziest thing is that this oscillator is gonna FM the oscillator B. So we're gonna choose over here FM from A. And you can see how crunchy this sounds become, but we're gonna also put it a bit down as well in volume. Now we're gonna choose a sub over here and in the sub we're gonna choose a saw. And we're also going to choose a noise and the noise we're going to choose a bright white. The level is going to go all the way down, but we're going to use the LFO 2 to modulate the level of the bright white. But this modulation is going to go quite down. And it's also going to be a little bit faster as well. Now we're going to change a little bit of the envelope, which is what gives the character to the sound and the sustain is going to go a bit down. The attack is going to remain as it is, the decay is going to remain as it is, but the release is going to go quite up. Can you see how the release of one note get on top of the other? So for that, we're going to choose mono over here. And that's essentially it for right now. We're gonna move now into envelope three. And in the envelope three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the matrix. We're gonna select over here envelope three. We're gonna select also the global master tune. And listen how this sounds like at the moment when we put this over here. We're actually changing the pitch of the sound. We don't want to change the pitch. We just want to give a small attack in the beginning of the sound. So the sustain is gonna go all the way down. And the decay is going to go all the way down as well. And you can see how it creates that pyong, 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 and that's what we want, but we want an even smaller decay over here. And it's important that this modulation is at unipolar because if it's at bipolar, it's going to sound horrible. 
and that's pretty much it we're gonna go back into the oscillators and now we're gonna choose a filter and this is how it sounds like but we're gonna select a b noise and sub and you can see that this preset now sounds quite filtered now we're gonna put this cutoff even further down we listen to even less higher frequencies, but that's because we need to now modulate this and we're gonna use envelope two to modulate. So envelope two over here is gonna modulate this by 60. But we're gonna have to change the envelope two to actually give a character to that filter. And in this envelope two, we're gonna put the sustain a little bit down as well. The decay is gonna go a little bit smaller. And the release is gonna go a little bit higher as well. And you can see how it feels a little bit better in this modulation. We also have to do a couple of other things over here in the filter. We're gonna put the drive a bit up. And we're gonna put the fat also a little bit up. And that's essentially it. Now we're gonna go into the effects section. And in the effects section, we're gonna choose a hyper, then we're gonna choose a compressor. And after the compressor, we're gonna choose a delay, then a reverb, and lastly, an EQ. And that's essentially the effects that we're gonna use. In the hyper, we're gonna put this mix over here all the way down to something like this. This is gonna further detune the sound, but we're also gonna use the dimension to make it even wider. Without it, with it. You can see how it sounds a bit more detuned now, but we have to control this sound over here with the compressor. And in the compressor, we're gonna put the threshold a little bit like this. The ratio is gonna remain as it is. The attack is gonna go all the way down, so we want to capture that initial attack from the sound. And we want the release to be a little bit longer as well. But we're gonna now boost this a lot up. And that's essentially it with the compressor. Now in the delay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this feedback a little bit up. But you can see how it wobbles the sound and we don't want this. So the first thing is this left is gonna go too fast. And it feels like the delay is only on the right ear at the moment, but in the right ear, we're gonna put this to one eighth. The frequency is going to remain as it is, and the Q is also going to remain as it is, but we're going to use a ping pong over here, and the wet is going to go to something like this. And you can listen to the delay a little bit more in your right ear than in your left ear. Now, with the reverb, what we're going to do is we're going to put this size over here a bit down. The decay is also going to go a little bit down. low cut, high cut, spin, and spin def as it is, and the wet is gonna go a little bit up. That's essentially it. Now, with the EQ, we're just gonna lower a little bit of the low end and also higher a little bit of the high end. So we're gonna use a low shelf and a high shelf. In the low shelf, we're gonna put the frequency to somewhere like this. The Q is gonna remain as it is, and we're gonna put this quite down. Now, the frequency of the other shelf is gonna go a little bit up, and the gain is going to go a little bit up as well. And that's essentially it. Now, if we want to put this a little bit down because it became a little bit too loud, and if you want to listen in context, And that's pretty much it. I hope that you like this preset. And if you liked it, you can grab this preset in the Modern Melodic Techno Pack over here in the description below. This is Leo Loretti from Abstract Music Lab signing off. Cheers. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, please check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs. Also check our ready to use and club tested serum presets. You can browse by the genre and style you're looking for or get the incredible deal with the full serum preset button. Thank you for listening and now let's get back to your tutorial.